So when my family flees South Sudan, uh, we ended up, you know, uh, being resettled uh, in, in northern Uganda. Uh, there's a lot of things that really happen uh, in a refugee camp. Uh, for me, it was where I spent most of my life, my childhood, you know, almost 22 years in a refugee camp. And to me, just knowing that, you know, living that environment was not, you know, it wasn't a choice for me. It wasn't a choice for my family to be refugee. And when they actually flee South Sudan, you know, they didn't just, they didn't just wake up in the morning and leave what they love, you know. Uh, it was a decision of life and death. For me, there was no good access to education, uh, no good health care. For us, it was just to utilize every small thing that we have, whatever it means, you know, being able to like eat, you know, one meal a day. There's a lot of things that we didn't even have access to for, for digital world to have impact on us as refugees. You know, the first time I, I got to see a computer was actually uh, around 2007. There was a refugee registration. And then during that time, the UNSCR employees actually were using computers to like enter the data. And I remember asking my mother and say, you know, I want, you know, I, I want a computer. And she looked at me and laughed and she was like, you know, where are we going to get the money to buy the computer? Where are we going to like, you know, where are you going to find a place you can charge it? Like three years later, you know, 2011, around there, uh, she bought for me my first computer. My motivation has always been, you know, looking back at the journey of my mother, being able to actually work so hard and I mean, my parents, my family, to find a place of refuge for us to be able to even have a life, just a simple life was a big motivation for me. More than creating game, I love finding new ways of giving back to my community. We're not just here to survive, we are also here to thrive. All we want is the opportunities. When I look back at my journey, you know, Salam is a high tension on a game that actually put a player in the shoes of refugee. For you as a player, for you to win, is you take a refugee from a war-torn country to find a place of refuge. Every child, everybody, whether you're a refugee, as long as a human, you have a right education for me equality is you know being able to like have equal resources as as people you don't have to like think less of different kind of people